cool. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Save the Bay podcast. My name is Matt Vieira. I'm the social media and marketing manager at Save the Bay, and with me, as always, is... I'm Adam Kovarski. I'm Save the Bay's aquarist or aquarium biologist, and I'm one of our teachers down here at the aquarium. Adam, it's it's a great time of year for Save the Bay. I mean, all, all the whole year is a great time for Save right. the Bay, but... It, the weather's warming up. We're Spring getting into springing. summer. The last time <laughs> I was here doing a podcast, the beach was empty. Frozen, covered in ice. Now no I, one wants to be out there except for me because I'm crazy. <laughs> now I pull up, <laughs> and I can't get a spot on the beach. I can't get a spot yeah. in the parking lot. Yeah. It's, there's packed people down here. It's great. It's beautiful. Um, that means our summer hours are right around the corner. Starting Memorial Day, we'll be open, open every day of the week, seven days a week, you 10 to it. 4. Uh, but right now, we're in, still in our normal winter hours. But next week, and depending on when you, you're watching this, we have public school vacation. So starting on April 14th. Yep, starting April 14th, we're going all the way till April 23rd. We're going to be open every single day from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Um, and just as always, we're going to be doing special things during these times. Yes. Um, so during the April school vacation week, our theme is going to be Creatures of the Deep. The deep. Now, I'm now not just Narragansett <laughs> Bay, like the average of 26 feet depth. We're talking the deep. Exactly, because when we're thinking deep, it's not the bay. The bay is very shallow, makes it a unique habitat, right? Yes. But we have more unique habitats we can talk about. If we look more towards the Rhode Island Sound, which is part of Rhode Island waters, it's another habitat we want to check out. And this mm. is where we have a bunch more creatures of the deep uh, that we can talk about down there. That's when you start getting really deep. All right. Okay. Yeah. So some things that you might see out there that we have in our aquarium. Um, one of them is the chain cat shark. All right. Or chain, chain dogfish shark. shark yes. Right. So it's a type of shark. It stays relatively small, only gets to be about a foot and a half long. Um, but something really interesting about it is that it actually has been recently discovered that they bioluminesce. Oh, really? That's a recent that's a recent yeah. discovery. Yes. And bioluminescence is basically uh, a way for the animal cells to have different molecules in it and they glow in the dark. So now is that is that a benefit for them down in the deep waters because the light doesn't get down that far? Now is you would assume it's some kind of benefit, right? Yeah. Because animals evolve, they get adaptations. Sure. Help them survive. But we don't really know. This is another right. thing, uh, another mystery of the deep. All right. Scientists don't really know why they are bioluminescing yet because they haven't researched it. They haven't studied to figure out why. Is it for mating? Is it to help attract food? Um, yeah, I, I guess I could see it going two ways. I guess it could be, you know, one of those um, things that happen in nature that uh, that warn off uh, warn off predators. Like predators want to stay like, away. Stay away. Like yeah. a rattlesnake, right? Shakes its tail. Yeah, exactly. Same or kind like of idea. those butterflies that have yeah. like the crazy patterns on their on their wings. Yes. yes. Stay away from me. Don't eat yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, you could be a sitting duck for it. Or it could be a mating thing. Yeah. So, so that's you cool listeners, if you're a yeah. scientist, you know, go out there, research these sharks, figure it we out. We need these answers. Yeah. And if you want to come see some examples of these sharks, you can actually come here. There's one of them in our touch tanks. Now, he is very nocturnal, so he's usually awake at night. Pretty much sleeps all day. If, if he comes up to say hello, we can pet him. He's really when he cool. when he sleeps, does he just hang in the sand or is he sits right on the sand? Right. right? So some sharks, like a great white, they have to be moving all the time in order to breathe. That sounds tiring. It's very tiring, right? <laughs> and uh, you know, I don't think I'd want to do that. But the chain cat sharks got it figured out a little better. Yeah. They can actually stop moving, really? and their gills have a pump, so oh. their gills can pump and they can inactively smart. breathe. Exactly. Smart catfish sharks. Exactly. Very smart. Yeah. Yeah. They figured it out. <laughs> uh, unlike the great white that just has to go, 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 go. Right. So it's a little different. Overachievers of yeah. the ocean. Yeah. And one neat thing about these guys too, we actually work. Uh, with some local offshore fishermen, right, who make a, mm -hmm. a living fishing. Um, some of them use uh, fish pots to, to catch some of their, the, their catch. Uh, and on one of their pots, they noticed there was a whole bunch of these weird-looking, frilly little things mm. sitting on the pots, all right? Yeah. So they brought them in, uh, and we actually figured out that they're chain cat shark eggs. Uh, and they brought oh, in about 20 cool. of them to us. Very yeah. Cool. So right now we have them backlit in a way that you can actually see them developing. They're, they're actually right here. You know what? You might, I'm going to do a close-up right now so you'll be able to see them. But these are them right here. These are the, the eggs. right. So right here we have mermaid's purses. These are the skates. Yep. And then another type of mermaid's purse right next to another egg case, right? It's from the chain cat shark. It's the smaller ones there. And when you look inside, what you can see, there's a, an orangey cool. dense area. Dark, dense area. That's the yolk, just like a chicken egg has yeah. a yolk, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I've never tried them like a chicken. I, I'm not going to. I want to <laughs> see some sharks. And yeah. if you look close too, you'll start to see the embryo squiggling oh, yeah, I back can and forth. I can see them in you a couple of them. You can see them moving around. And this is amazing. Video is one thing, but if you can bring your eyes here to see this, yeah. guys, it is yeah. just super cool. You have to cool. see this in person. I mean, because this tank is amazing. I know we, we've touched on the skates before, but these, these guys are amazing. It's great to see something new. When these guys hatch out, they're about the size of half of a number two pencil. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, have you have you seen any hatch yet? So that's that's the hard part. Patience is a virtue, right? So these guys take anywhere from eight to twelve months to hatch. Wow. Okay. And, and when you, they and came in, know. they were freshly laid, oh, from what I could tell, because the okay. embryos and some of them were so small that I couldn't see them. It's been a couple months now since okay. we've had these guys, uh, and now we're we're seeing a lot of development. And so in these eggs, they get all the nutrients they need. Yes. Before they hatch. Before they hatch. So what will happen? They get all those nutrients, and then even partway through their time spent in the embryonic development, they'll actually pop a little hole in the egg. Yeah. They call that venting. That way now they're getting ambient ocean water moving and circulating throughout. Okay. They start acclimatizing to the habitat that they will soon be a part of and the ecosystem that they will soon be a part Very of. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. And when they come out, they might even have a tiny bit of yolk left on them. To, it's like a little to-go meal. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, they lay the eggs. The, the parents, they leave. The mother leaves. They never see their young again, um, most likely. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. So, yeah, um, <laughs> creatures of the deep. Chain catfish sharks come down to the EC and check these out for yourselves. I know you're seeing them on video, or if you're just listening to this podcast, you're not seeing them at all. <laughs> so you want to come down and check these out because it is very, very cool. Yeah, um, and come check it out too, guys, because we got a whole bunch of other life that we can teach about. So we have mm -hmm. a lot of examples of very interesting, weird creatures of the deep yes. that are too sensitive for us to bring up to surface like this. Very uh, cool. These are things that we can teach about. We can show you the pictures. Really cool stuff. Very, very cool. Uh, Speaking of cool, uh, this month we have two, not one, two feeding That's frenzies. Right. So Doubled up. For those of you who don't know, our feeding frenzy program allows you to come down here to the EC, the Exploration Center uh, on Easton's Beach in Newport, and actually help us and assist us in feeding the animals. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very, it's, it's something like you, you can't experience this anywhere else. This is, it, it's amazing. You see the inner workings. You see how these animals eat. It's one thing to look at them through glass. It's another thing to actually like interact with them like this. Yeah. So very cool. So this month's on the April 20th and April 22nd. Yes. Um, so yep. you want to go online, uh, savebay.org slash aquarium. We have a link on there to register. You want to register ahead of time. They're going to fill up quick if they're not already filled up by the time you listen to this. Yes. So check that out. Uh, <laughs> do you want to add anything about the feeding frenzy? I mean, I know. I mean, it's just tons of fun. Come check it out. It's yeah. just another way to see what we do here and, and more ways to help save the bay. Mm -hmm. um, simply by coming and being a part of these programs, uh, you coming here doing these things, um, you're helping us to protect our bay and responsibly management with all the funds that you bring into. So that, that really helps. So two so feeding frenzies this month. Again, April 20th and April 22nd, savebay.org slash aquarium. That's where you want to register for those ahead of time. Again, they fill up quick. Quickly. Also going on down here in Newport, we have SEAL tours going on until the end of April, yes. and then they're gone for the year until the right, fall. Right. I We just had one of our interns go down on a SEAL tour, and she came back, and she, her quote was, and I, not exactly, but this is the gist of it, she said she thought she would see SEALs. She didn't think she would see this many SEALs. <laughs> so there are a lot of SEALs out there right now. Right. It's a, Apparently a great time for them. They're, it is. And the reason the why weather. we're seeing so many yeah. is because they're all fattening up in the bay. They're getting ready uh. to make their final move north towards Maine and Canada. Okay. So they all kind of congregate towards the mouth of the bay. And that's where we're doing our trips right now. Okay. All they're, right? they're carpooling. So they're all kind of car – yes, they're getting together so they can carpool. They can do their <laughs> swimming school bus all the way okay. back up to Maine and Canada where they go pup. Um, and this is, so right now they're as fat as you're ever going to see them, yeah. right? Cause they've been eating all winter and just sitting around. Yeah. Um, and they're all, they have a ton of pent up energy. They're getting ready to go. So they're okay. getting active. Excellent. You know? Yeah. So th that must've been in. I mean, I saw the pictures that she took. Uh, they're fantastic. There's oh, wow. so many seals out there. So not only is it good weather to get out there on a boat and it's not freezing like it was in January a few months ago, it's great weather, but now you're seeing a ton of seals out yeah, there. Yeah, that's uh, right. A ton of seals. Bring your cameras. We have binoculars, but bring your cameras. You're, you're going to want to take some pictures of these. Again, seal tours go until the end of April. <laughs> Savebay.org slash seals. Register for your trip. 
We're running trips all through public school vacation next week as well as yep, having – every single day, multiple trips. Um, you got plenty to sign up for. And, you know, this is going to be the last set of public trips we do for a while. Yep. So you guys are going to want to sign up for these if you're looking to get out on our boats. Yep. Uh, another way to get out on, a, on, on our boats this summer, it's more limited, but we're doing lighthouse tours. There's only very about – There's only a handful <laughs> of these tours every year, but they're, they're very hot. They always fill up quick. Very fast. There's – if you're a lighthouse enthusiast or you enjoy going to see, this is the trip for you. This is it. <laughs> you, can, you can see a, a northern set of lighthouses, a southern set of lighthouses, or you can do the ultimate tour, which yeah. you see all of them. Yeah. It's a seven-hour trip. And it's I amazing. love the lighthouses, but I also love birds, right? This is an amazing trip to go see oh. birds on, too. Yes. So bring I've your binoculars. You, you see a ton of birds on this. So if you're a lighthouse person and or a bird person, this is a great trip. This is the, That's yeah. the trip for you. That's right. So, all right. I think that's it. I think we covered everything. Taste of the Bay is coming up. So if you want to buy your tickets that, for that. I love that it's event. It's a great event. It's yeah. a lot of local food and drink, live music yes. right at our Bay Center in Providence. Um, happening on June 15th, saybay.org taste buy your tickets for that the swim is coming up mm. uh july 29th yes. saturday so sign up for that if you're a swimmer or if you're a kayaker and you want to kayak with a swimmer or if you just want to volunteer or if you just want to support a swimmer savebay.org slash swim you can do all that there yeah so adam until next month thanks thanks for having That's us right. as always all right thanks a lot matt yeah. thank you everyone for listening i've yeah. had a great time and i uh, will we'll talk to you next month and again spread the word if you're if you like what you're hearing on the podcast if you like what you're seeing spread the word tell your friends come down to the aquarium and tell us that you like it yeah. so and until next month guys Thank you for listening, watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.